Soon enough, the beaches will be full every weekend, and one local beach town is making sure there is enough room for everyone. But Chris, that beach replenishment does not come cheap. That's right, Don. Residents who people who come here to North Wildwood every summer are going to be real happy to find out there actually is a beach here this summer. That wasn't a guarantee. You see, for the past five years, this city has been spending millions of its own tax dollars to make sure the top attraction here doesn't wash away. It's extremely important. It's the lifeblood of this, you know, community. Dawn and Vince Carson remember when North Wildwood's beach was so big, kids often got lost. When you had to walk a long way to get to the water. In fact, I got lost on the beach when I was a kid um, and couldn't find my parents. It was that it long was, of a It was a big beach. In the early 90s, it was the widest beach on the East Coast. 30 years later, it's on yearly life support. Blame Mother Nature. If we had not installed the bulkheading and, and placed the sand in front of the bulkhead, we most likely would have lost not only some public streets, but a good possibility of losing some private buildings. So this is what they did. They spent $4 million to truck in mountains of sand from neighboring Wildwood. 350,000 cubic yards, billions of pounds. The problem, local taxpayers have been footing the bill for the past five years. The town's mayor says it's the only beach town in New Jersey not getting federal or state money to restore its beaches. We're kind of like literally like the David and Goliath, and unfortunately we're the David between two Goliaths. So while residents and beachgoers are happy to see more sand on the beach... I just hope they have it done by the summer. Yeah. Some wonder how many more years they can keep doing this. When we say what kind of house we have it's our beach house so to take the beach out of beach house it's just not the same thing now the city continues to ask the federal and state government to be included in beach replenishment funding so far to no avail and actually dawn scientists believe that some of this beach erosion will eventually reverse itself in time just how much time only mother nature knows Exactly. All right, Chris O'Connell at the shore for us. Thank you, Chris.